OCO, Halito. It is Raven Red Tail Hog Jaguar, and I'm coming to you with a reading for a private client. Okay, this is the uh, three deck reading. Uh, the first deck is coming from the Romance Angels for the Twin Flame reading. The next one is coming from the Isis Oracle, which is actually a set oracle. And then the last one is coming from the Toltec Oracle, which is uh, based off of the foundation of the XI Omec. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um, I already um, cleared the atmosphere with the Sacred Sage Cedar Mix and then um, the sweet grass to welcome in positive energy and hit the sacred pipe okay the sacred pipe the smoke from the sacred pipe is prayers and affirmations unto divine great spirit our ancestors and our guides for assistance and for us to affirm uh speak life okay all right i will begin the reading all right the first is coming from the Romance Angels cards, Twin Flame reading. Okay, the first card is separation. Okay, uh, separation. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, um, either you have separated like in a divorce or you have separated uh, for time alone. Uh, for you to do uh, inner work, healing, uh, just dealing with the man or the woman in the mirror. Uh, that goes with if you are uh, single at this moment also. Uh, that time is to do inner work, okay? All right, the next card is unrequited love, okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if that first card meant separation, like as in divorce or you broke up, um, <clears throat> someone was not um, returning the love. Um, it's saying that um, the attraction or the chemistry is not enough to keep this going at this moment rather um, because the next card says new love and that could mean uh, new love or renewed love if that person is really your twin flame and they return to you this could mean renewed love okay uh, it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings <laughs> So, if it's your renewed love, yes, your re your romantic feelings are going to be, like, you know, on fire, basically. Um, if it's a new love, somebody has stirred your interest, okay? The next one is, it is safe for you to love, okay? You've been through um, a separation, a divorce, or a, a breakup. Um, you're doing healing or inner work. Um, it's saying that, uh, it is safe for you to love. Basically, it's safe for you to love again. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. All right. The next card is... Letting you know it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. The next card is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, um, basically, um, you attract, like when you vibrate at a high vibration you're doing inner work and uh you're loving yourself and things of that nature you do attract uh romantic love okay 
The next card is um, you've been calling in your soulmate. Uh, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. That's the, the combo, the formula, okay, for you to call in your true divine twin flame soulmate, okay, your consort. All right, um, it's saying very soon, okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you cleared it clearly decided that means you send out those affirmations okay to speak life speak it into existence visualize it okay do your part do your inner work make sure you on point okay all right and the next card was trust trust this situation is calling for you to have faith okay and the faith part is basically believing in yourself, okay? <clears throat> and what's going to be is going to be. What's meant to be will be, okay? And this is uh, just a reminder for everyone. Always love yourself first, even when you're waiting. Um, love yourself first. Uh, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? Okay? All right, that was the Twin Flame reading from the Romance Angels cards, okay? The next one is coming from the Aset Oracle, Isis Oracle, all right? And I have those cards here, okay? The first card is uh, Divine Sun Child, okay? The Blessings of the Sun Falcon, Okay, um, who is the Sun Falcon? Uh, the Sun Hawk, basically, that is Heru. Okay, Heru, uh, Heru represents uh, Christ consciousness, higher consciousness, getting in touch with your divine self. Okay, so that is what that card is. The second card is. Past life, present power. The many spiritual faces of you, okay? Um, um, in your past life, um, you had um, gifts and talents and powers. So, um, these are the many faces of you, okay? Uh, you are remembering those things those things those gifts are showing up in your life now okay all right the next card is the portal of light she glides on the wings through time and space so okay just like the other card the past life present power okay it had the hourglass on it um Okay, the portal of light, you know, uh, the portal of light is outside of time, okay? Um, she sees through time and space. So, uh, like your gifts, um, you're able to tap into things. Um, basically, you're tapping into uh, that portal where Divine Grace Spirit lives, and um which is outside of time and space and so you you have that ability or you are tapping into that now even more okay the next card okay is flower of life okay divine creativity and manifestation okay um, the flower of life, um, you know, um, basically the flower of life. If you know anything about the flower of life, um, is basically, um, birth of something, manifestation, creativity. Okay. Um, that's how things are created. 
and then manifestation is on there. That's um, a good sign because if you just had creativity, you just still brainstorming and flowing on it and waiting for it to uh, be birthed. But this says manifestation, which is very good, okay? So, <clears throat> the next card is... Let me get this. All right, the next card is the Temple of Lapis Lazuli. Okay, um, the goddess of the ancient skies. Okay, if you know anything about Lapis Lazuli, um, it represents royalty. It's a stone of royalty. Um, you could... Um, dabble into um <clears throat> stones or crystals um if you're into that and that is a good stone for you to wear it helps you tap into um your abilities okay it just enhances them okay uh it enhances them and it assists you um i also did take some notes on some of these and I'm kind of going through the cards because you have three decks okay so um like with this lapis lazuli uh, it talks about uh, being on a high vibration of awareness okay um, you have the special wisdom of the star peoples okay um, you have a deeper uh inner knowing and you are accepting that okay you are spiritually advanced um you just have to remember the healing mission of this planet um and flow in your inner wisdom of the star people um basically okay all right the next card is Life Restored, okay? And that is their depiction of the phoenix, okay? And it says Priestess of the Phoenix, okay? In this case, it will be Priest of the Phoenix <clears throat> or Priestess of the Phoenix, okay? All right, Life Restored, okay? Um, you have been through something, you have been through the fire, so to speak, and now your life is being restored. Uh, you are um, rising out of the fire, out of the ashes like the phoenix, okay? Alright. The next card is Power Over Seven Scorpions. The power to conjure lower vibrational forces. Okay, the other card said that you uh, know how to flow in high vibrational things. Uh, that you have ancient wisdom from the star peoples. So, you have the power over seven scorpions. Any poison that somebody is, you know, bringing your way, you have the power over it. You have the power to conjure um lower vibrational forces um and you want to use this with wisdom and balance okay you won't, you don't want to abuse your authority or your power okay you have to be balanced you have to have some ma'at okay <clears throat> all right and so the next card is high priestess or high priest mysteries are being revealed in the eyes of isis which is aset okay so you flow in that high priest high priestess energy okay uh, mysteries are revealed to you your eye is opened basically your third eye your pineal gland is open and you flow uh, you flow in um, uh, receiving uh, insight 
and mysteries are revealed to you because the other cards we're talking about like you had the other card that says the portal of life light um you can <clears throat> go um to the portal of light like in meditation and like these mysteries are revealed to you okay all right and the last card is the abundance of Sothless, okay? Stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abun of abundance, okay? So abundance is um coming or it's here for you, okay? Um whether it's dealing with um anything, it could be anything. It could be um of course finances or it could be abundance of love. Abundance could be in a number of things, okay? Um, so, that concludes that reading from the Aset Isis Oracle, okay? That was that, all right? And then the last reading, come over here a little bit. Okay, this last one is coming from the Toltec Oracle cards, okay? The Toltec. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's deal with the middle card. The middle card represents the divine great spirit in your life, okay? And it is the left-handed hummingbird, okay? And the left-handed hummingbird... Okay, this is the spiritual warrior, okay? Uh, he's standing in front of the mound, the pyramid, and his staff is up top. Uh, that represents triumph, okay? You have um, been battling uh, with your old self, okay? You've been battling with your old self, and your new divine self is triumphing, okay? Okay? So, um, the left-handed hummingbird, um, it deals with, um, the planet Mars, and it deals with, um, red, deals with red and, um, uh, Mars, um, the left-handed hummingbird, okay, the left-handed hummingbird is a spiritual warrior, not only does the hummingbird represents love and joy, like if you had the feathers of a hummingbird, that represents love. Um, but the other side, the left hand, they're saying um, the left hand side <clears throat> is the spiritual side. So that just reinforces the, uh, the um, spiritual warrior, okay? that you are um i do want to go in depth a little bit but basically um, that is the left-handed hummingbird okay and um as things come to my mind i may go back to a card okay all right and the next card is the underworld card Okay, this is, um, okay, this is the spiritual seeker, um, or the spiritual warrior, and he is naked, and he is going down into the underworld, okay, and the underworld, uh, can mean, um, okay, it's a place of growth, and it's a place of, like for people that are not flowing in their gifts, um, something that they know that they have, um, maybe they've been keeping it under wraps, um, a gift or a talent, um, you're not using it. And so you're basically going against yourself. And so you got to spend a little time in the underworld, so to speak, um, so you can get your mind right. Um so, as soon as you get your mind right, you can get out of that. Um, but, I mean, your card before this was saying, 
uh, that you did triumph. So that's, that goes with your old self warm with your new divine, true, authentic self. Okay, so you did spend some time in the underworld, so to speak, okay? But like the left-handed hummingbird card said that you triumphed, okay? All right, the next card is the eagle card. Now, the eagle card, okay, you heard that saying, the eagle eye, okay? This is the eagle, okay? The eagle can see past, present, and future <clears throat> simultaneously, you know, the eagle flies high in the air, okay? And this is the um, eagle warrior, okay? Um, he is, <clears throat> he is like in this stance, in this stance. I'm going to go in depth on this one a little bit. Um, in this stance, um, this represents elevation, okay? Um, you're being elevated. Um, we know the eagle is the sacred governor of the, um, of the world, okay? Um, you are meant to fly high, okay? Um, we know about, um, okay, you have the po promise of elevation, okay? This is the eagle warrior, uh, the black and red. The colors represent knowledge, okay? Um, we know this is an eagle warrior because he has the eagle warrior, um, the eagle feather in his hair. Um, you have, um, you're dedicated um, to spiritual knowledge, okay? Um, You're connected with divine great spirit. Um, okay, his stance means equilibrium, okay? So remember, balance is key. Balance is key. With all of these gifts and power, balance is key, okay? You don't want to flow in ego, all right? Um, you have the freedom of elevation to elevate yourself. It's self-liberation. Um, interchange, okay, um, you are transmuting, um, that old dead energy into new energy that's vibrating higher, basically, uh, physically, I mean, uh, excuse me, psychologically and spiritually, you will achieve your elevation, um, okay, so that's just a reminder. Uh, you are like the eagle warrior, and you are elevated. You you have a gift to see past, present, and future. Okay, that eagle eye. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this uh, okay. This one. Okay. This is the flint card. Okay, and this is the. Uh, shaman medicine man okay and he is protected and this hand that's reaching down is divine great spirit your ancestors and your guides helping you okay in one hand um, okay this represents self-sacrifice because when you are you know a quote-unquote holy man or shaman healer uh medicine man or woman um you do have to do some kind of self-sacrifice whether that's your time your energy you just have to find methods to you know just restore it and give back to yourself okay have balance with it okay all right um also uh this flint is for you carving and working on yourself, doing inner work, okay? All right, and then the last card is the wind, the spirit, okay? It's invisible. You can't see it, but you can feel it. You know it's there. Uh, it's like the breath of life. The breath of life is in all things. And this is just a reminder that um, Divine Great Spirit, your ancestors and your guides 
are there always, okay? Um, okay, this is wisdom because this is a snake, a serpent on his head. And he is sitting on a jaguar skin, which uh, represents power, okay? So again, you have power. You have um, spiritual and physical power. You don't want to abuse it. You want to have balance, okay? Uh, balance is the key, okay? So this will conclude the reading. Uh, may it resonate with you. I want to say Wado. Namaste and Ashe. Peace.